Welcome to a random video on the internet. Because this video is about being random in our classrooms, our training environments, or even while we're studying ourselves. This is a video about the Wheel of Names. Now you may have heard about the Wheel of Names or it might be new to you, but it's a fantastic tool for all types of training and learning and teaching because what it allows us to do is it allows us to randomly pick an individual to do a presentation, somebody who's won a prize, somebody who's going to be presenting next as part of a team. There are so many things we can do with the Wheel of Names. In this video, I'll show you the basics of the Wheel of Names, but I'll show you a couple of fun ideas of how you can use it to make your classroom and training much more exciting. Or if you have a team event, there's so many things you can do with the Wheel of Names. Let's go take a look. To get to the Wheel of Names, we just go to wheelofnames.com and you can see that I've got this spinning wheel that I can then customize with the names of different students that I might have in a hypothetical class or of course in my real class. And then what I can do is I can use this wheel to select a name. Maybe they're going to win a prize if this is a contest or a little team building event, or maybe they're coming up to do a presentation or they're going to be the next person to be asked a question. The best part about this is that because it's randomized, I can have the wheel of names do the selection and I don't have to worry about reading from a list or forgetting someone or being in a situation where it's seen as if I'm picking on one student or another. So what I do is I put the name of the students into this list and I just spin the wheel of names. It's a fun thing that engages students as they're waiting to see if their name is going to be chosen and it's Oliver. Now I have an action that occurs. You can hear a little bit of applause in the background. And then I can make the choice of whether I'm going to remove the name because now Oliver has answered a question or whether Oliver remains in the selection pool. Maybe Oliver's going to have to answer a few questions. Now it's really important that if we are removing somebody from the pool that we don't allow that to be uh, an opportunity for them to disengage. So we have to design our class around the idea that we're not going to be spinning this wheel eight times and then the person who's selected first is just not doing anything. Maybe if we're doing presentations we can do that, but we can do a lot more with the Wheel of Names. So first of all, you'll see here that I can shuffle the names, so I can move the names around and shuffle them. I can sort them alphabetically if I'd like. Now, it's going to randomize any, everything anyways, but sometimes I like to shuffle them just to give the illusion that everything is mixed up. It is mixed up, but the random function would still operate in the same way. We also could add an image to the wheel of names, a background image or a center image, or we could even have each slice with its own image. I'll show you a few different wheels of names that I've customized a little bit earlier. You can see how many entries I've had, and I can go back and I can see the results that I've had as I've spun those the wheel as well. I can go and save any wheels that I create, and then I can open any wheels that I create. Of course, I can make a new one. So let me open a couple of wheels here. So let's say, for example, I want to do some team building. So I've divided my students into teams, and a lot of times what I'll do is I'll put everybody's name onto a wheel of names, and then I'll know that, say, I have 24 students, I'm going to have six groups. And then I can say group one through six, and I can spin it and say, Oliver, you're in group number one. Spin it again, choose the next student, you're in team two. And I can build up the teams that way. But then it's maybe time for the teams to present. So I'm going to have the teams, and who's the first team to present? I can spin the wheel of names, and it'll choose the first name, uh, team that's going to present. Team five, it's your turn to, turn to present. And then once it spins on there, I can remove them, and I can do that until I only have one team left. Now, a trick that I have here as well is if I have just one team left, even though I only have one team left, I always say the following. We're going to spin it anyways because everybody deserves their spin. So I'm going to spin it even though we know that it's the last team. I still want to spin it just for the fun in the class so that they can say, oh, who's it going to be? Well, we know it's going to be team one. It's just one of those fun things to be able to do. So another type of wheel that I'll often create would be maybe a, uh, a, a subject wheel. So here I have a wheel where I've gone in and you'll notice this one looks a little different. This is because I've customized this. There is a lot of customization that we can do with the wheel of names. I can go in and change it to either being a 
uh, umbrella of colors so I can have multiple different umbrellas. I can create custom themes in here, maybe with a, a little bit of a more muted color theme here. So you can see this would be a more muted color theme. I can go in and I can choose a background image, which I could upload on my own or choose from a whole bunch of different images that you can get from Wheel of Names. I can go in and change the page background color. So I could make this blue like space. I could make, or I guess, black like space and then I could go in and change contours and the shadow of the wheel and you can see I get this nice image here. This would be something where let's say we've been studying astronomy and I now want to have the students define different terms or maybe I'm studying myself and this is my flashcards where I'm doing some randomization here where I can go in and a subject comes up and I then have to think about and define it. That's called active recall, which is a great way for me to randomize my active recall where I would have something that I have to then define the term as I spin the wheel. There's other types of customizations I could do. For example, interleaved practice. So let's say I'm studying and I'm decided I'm going to use something like the Pomodoro technique where I do have a timer and I'm going to do 25 minutes of studying on a subject, take a short break, and then 25 more minutes of studying. Well, if I wanted to, what I could do is I could randomize the subjects that I'm studying during each Pomodoro. I could even randomize the break if I wanted to. And then what I, it wouldn't be a true Pomodoro, but I could do this. And then I would say, what am I going to study for the next 25 minutes? And I could spin the wheel and I could say, I'm going to study my science homework. So I, oh, maybe math. What have I got here? I have math. So in this case here, I could remove all instances of math because I have it in there a few times, or just this, the individual instance. I only have two hours to study, so now I'm gonna study math for half an hour, and then when I finish studying math, I'm gonna study my next subject, and I'm going to study, looks like it might be science or English, I'm gonna study science for half an hour, and I could repeat this process until I've studied all of the different topics that I need to study during that session. You'll also notice, I'll go ahead and open another one here. Let's say I wanted to go in and do a points picker. So this is a fun game that I like to play with the Wheel of Names where I might be asking students questions, but I'll divide them into teams, maybe one half of the room versus the other half of the room. The challenge that we have whenever we do that type of activity is sometimes one half of the room really takes off from the other half. So there's a sense of we can't catch up. We, there's no way for us to, to get enough points to beat the other team if, if we make things even. So what we can do is add a little bit of uncertainty in there, not just in who's going to answer the question, but also how many points is that question worth? So I could ask the question, award it to one side of the room or the other and say, for answering that question, you get, and we could spin for the number of points. Normally what I will do here is I'll put a, a, a variety of points on there, like a 50, 75, 100, and I'll go ahead and remove just the one instance, but I'll also have a ringer in there of 200 points. So if, some, if one of the teams is behind by 100 or 150 points, they could always still answer the question and still get that 200 point slot. So it's pretty exciting. It can make for a bit of a dynamic, fun time in the classroom. There's a lot more that we can do with the Wheel of Names. Let's go back into customization here. I could go in and I could put a, an image at the center of the wheel. We saw that over here as well. I could change the background color and the contours and such. We can also change the activity of what happens during the spin and after the spin. And there are a lot of customizations. You've heard some cheering as the, or a click as the wheel's been spinning. So you can see here, I can choose a different sound. So maybe I'm going to have something like uh, cinematic music and we'll have Enter Sentinel, right? I could spin slowly. I could show the title of the wheel. I could choose the volume of how, how loud I'm going to have the spinning of the wheel. I could have how long it's going to spin, a little bit longer, a little bit less, right? I could go in and how many, I'm not going to put a thousand names on the wheel. That would be a certainly a very narrow slots for every name, but you can go up that high. Then after the spin, you've heard applause. 
I could change that. I could have it so that maybe it's going to have a punchline for a joke. Or maybe this is a wheel where the, the selection is a negative, right? Where if you get selected, it's, you know, the sad sound, like the wah wah, or whatever the case may be. That's, uh, that's not as good as this is. I don't know about wah wah on this. Anyway, but you can go in there, you can do things like a mystery bell. You could do things like uh, a fanfare. Or you could do something like I said, you could have something like uh, a cartoon whistle or something like a crash or, you know, something along those lines. Um, you can go in and remove the winner after five seconds or you could just do that manually. You could animate the winning entry. I always like to have that. You could have the pop-up message. So in this case here, this is the, the wheel with points. So you got points. Or I could have something along those lines. So I could have some sort of, you know, some sort of, you know, a message that comes up after the spinning of the wheel. And then when the winner is removed, I can have it click the winners removed and again appearance I can change so we can change the behavior during the spin after the spin and the way the wheel looks let's have a look at this one so now we spin this we have our cinematic music it's done 50 points and you say you've got points 50 points and I can remove that 50 points so you can get a lot of exciting things in here a good example of that might be let's say we were spinning for you we could spin the wheel and i could say hey you know what would be really cool is if you would oh is it going to be like or subscribe it's going to be subscribe if you could hit the subscribe button down below but we'll spin the wheel many times so you can like subscribe and comment down below if you like so you can see that we have a lot of different ways that we can have a lot of different fun with the Wheel of Names to really add some variety into our classroom, our training session, or even for ourselves to randomize some of our activities during a study session to make things a little bit more dynamic or mysterious or random. So I hope you enjoyed this random video on the internet and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.